down to sleep, laying me down. Now I pray my soul is mine to keep. My soul can never step outside this bed. Never is you all me. both of us here i know we haven't spoken in a long time but we saw a flyer at the grocery store that said you're coming to town for a show we'd really like to come see what you do denver and maybe it'd be our chance to put everything that happened behind us we, we don't want to make a scene or anything so if we don't hear back from you we won't come well, screw okay? that i'm going either way friend honey we can't do that maybe he wants his space but giving him his space while we thought he was at school is what got us into the situation to begin with we should have been watching that kid like a hawk how do i delete the message damn it anyway if you want to see us at the show call us back son or don't i'm coming either way Welcome to another edition of Women Who Fight, where we cover everything from the world of women's professional wrestling and mixed martial arts. Mm -hmm. As always, I'm your host, Robin Ray, along with my good friend and MMA pundit, Kit Lasko. <laughs> Thank you for that wonderful introduction, mm -hmm. Robin. You're so welcome. Mm -hmm. Okay, the main topic I'd like to discuss today mm -hmm. is the upcoming third annual May Young Classic Tournament. We're only a couple of months away, so hmm. the participants should be announced soon, right? Well, honestly, it doesn't really matter who's in it, because mark my word, Rhea Ripley is going to win the whole thing this year. Okay, didn't you say that last year? Uh, I don't recall. Nonetheless, in 2018, Rhea lost in the semifinals to Io Shirai, who then went on to be defeated by Tony Storm in the finals. So yeah. if anything, shouldn't Shirai be the favorite? <laughs> I guess if you're painting by numbers, I mean... What? Painting by numbers? Yeah. It's all speculation at this point. We don't even know who's in the field yet. There could be some dark horse who comes out of nowhere to win right. the whole thing. But as of right now, I can only go off what we do know. And if you actually think about who's driven to win this thing and who has all the tools to do it, it's Rhea Ripley. Okay. Then please provide some evidence to support that statement. Pendants don't need evidence. Ugh. I can tell this is going to be another one of those shows. So what happens if your parents show up tonight? First of all, as far as I'm concerned, they're not even really my parents anymore. But if they did show up, then security can deal with it. I'm not gonna let anyone pick and choose when they wanna have my back, especially now that I'm having a little bit of success. But you haven't talked to them since Calgary, which was like four years ago. Maybe it's time you give them another chance. Another chance to tell me I'm wasting my life and that I'm never gonna make it? Sorry, I don't need that. Besides, I paid them back their money, so the way I see it, we have nothing to discuss. Hey, I'm not shelling out an extra 20 bucks so you two can have a therapy session. I handed her the wrench, if that counts. Also, were you listening to our entire conversation? 
Hey, I get it. We've all got drama in our lives. I mean, look at me. Last year, I put on a mask and attacked my former protege, Buzz, costing him a shot at WWE. Then he wouldn't return my phone calls or texts for like a year. No one wanted to work with me, and BCW folded. But then I stuck up for Buzz to AJ Styles. And the next thing you know, I'm in Buzz's corner at WrestleMania, and now I'm in the process of rebuilding BCW. That's a lot of very specific information. Yeah. What's your point? My point is I turn chicken crap into chicken salad. And that's what I can do for you two if you sign exclusive deals with me and become cornerstones of the new BCW. Um, no thanks. Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Your loss. <laughs> because FYI, I am this close to getting Cole Quinn on board. <laughs> Big things are happening. <laughs> hey, speak of the handsome devil. Let's go talk numbers, shall we? I th 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 slow your roll, Greeny. <laughs> this guy. I feel like we really dodged a bullet there. More like a cannonball. That guy's a total nightmare. And here comes another one. What is she doing here? Holy crap. Is that hothead Red and Trey? You two picking up some extra work to make your trailer payments? Or is this some kind of prison work release program? It's just Red now. And we're wrestling tonight. And also, we don't live in trailers. We stay in hotel rooms that have microwaves, which seemed a lot more impressive before I said it. Wait, you actually became pro wrestlers? <laughs> <laughs> and I get to see your uncoordinated bodies flop around this ring tonight? <laughs> She's got good lungs. Of course I do. I'm an elite MMA competitor. If you haven't heard, the American hero Brooklyn Von Braun is undefeated. More like American Zero. What's that? Nothing. You realize Kurt Angle's already known as the American hero, right? You probably should ask him for permission to use his nickname like Ronda Rousey did with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Kurt Ankle? Never heard of him. If anything, he should ask me permission to use my name since I'm way more famous. I'll chat with my lawyer about it. Thanks for the heads up. Why are you here? You're obviously not a pro wrestling fan. No. Gross. There's a ceremony after your stupid show to rename the gym in my honor. The town sign wasn't enough? It wasn't. I actually wanted it bigger. Couldn't you have picked any other night to do this? Do you think I chose to share my special night with a professional wrestling event? That'd be like eating a giant bowl of turd soup before having the best steak of your life. I have a loaded schedule and tonight was my only avail. And how much longer would it have taken to say availability? I told you, I'm busy. Every second counts. I've already wasted way too much time talking to you carnies. I'll have you know, we've wrestled at several carnivals and their employees are some of the finest people around. Other than that tilt-a-whirl operator who bit me when I asked him what time it was. There's always exceptions. Cool story. Looking forward to seeing you tap again tonight, Red. You know, just like old times. Whoa, 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 whoa. You could kill someone with that. I know, that's the point. Don't let her get under your skin and ruin our night. We'll do our thing, and then she can do her stupid gym dedication. It'll be totally separate. I'm sure we won't even notice her. for you. I'm currently in negotiations with Cole Quinn to sign a long-term exclusive deal with BCW. In fact, I bet he'll sign on the dotted line right after this match.
ECW is on its way back. I may have had to sell my parents' cemetery plots to help fund the relaunch, but I know this is going to work this time. You have my word, Mom and Dad. Special shout out to all of Red and Trey's friends and family in attendance tonight. And sorry about not being able to let you in for free, but hey, I'm running a business here. show tonight without a down payment <laughs> I promise I'm good for it make sure you hit up the merch stand at intermission we're all selling actual pieces of the mask I wore last year when I attacked Buzz. Don't miss out on your chance to own a piece of wrestling history. again on your big homecoming show, Red and Trey. I'm sure nothing will ruin your big night. Just a reminder to stick around after the show for a special ceremony where the gym will be renamed for up-and-coming MMA star, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun. I wonder if she'd be interested in signing with BCW. You might need to settle their differences in the most intimidating and unique structure in wrestling, the Scrap Trap. Sure, it's been banned by every state athletic commission, but not in international waters. Join your friend Buzz in WWE. Why be the small fish in a big pond when you can be the shark in a kiddie pool? Okay, maybe that's not the best metaphor, since I don't think a shark would survive very long in a kiddie pool. But you get my point. trying to take ECW National, but he did it, and I can do the same with BCW. I mean, yeah, eventually everything fell apart and they went out of business, but you get my point.
No thanks. Yeah, yeah, we're good. <laughs> Your loss. <laughs> because FYI, I am this close to getting Cole Quinn on board. <laughs> Big things are happening. <laughs> hey, speak of the handsome devil. Let's go talk numbers, shall we? At that, 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 slow your roll, Greeny. <laughs> this guy. I feel like we really dodged a bullet there. More like a cannonball. That guy's a total nightmare. And here comes another one. What is she doing here? Holy crap, is that hothead red and Trey? You two picking up some extra work to make your trailer payments, or is this some kind of prison work release program? It's just red now, and we're wrestling tonight. And also, we don't live in trailers. We stay in hotel rooms that have microwaves, which seemed a lot more impressive before I said it. Wait, you actually became pro wrestlers? <laughs> and I get to see your uncoordinated bodies flop around this ring tonight? <laughs> <laughs> She's got good lungs. Of course I do. I'm an elite MMA competitor. If you haven't heard, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun, is undefeated. More like American Zero. What's that? Nothing. You realize Kurt Angle is already known as the American hero, right? You probably should ask him for permission to use his nickname like Ronda Rousey did with Rowdy Roddy Piper. Kurt Angle? Never heard of him. If anything, he should ask me permission to use my name since I'm way more famous. I'll chat with my lawyer about it. Thanks for the heads up. Why are you here? You're obviously not a pro wrestling fan. No, gross. There's a ceremony after your stupid show to rename the gym in my honor. The town sign wasn't enough? It wasn't. I actually wanted it bigger. Couldn't you have picked any other night to do this? Do you think I chose to share my special night with a professional wrestling event? That'd be like eating a giant bowl of turd soup before having the best steak of your life. I have a loaded schedule and tonight was my only avail. And how much longer would it have taken to say availability? I told you, I'm busy. Every second counts. I've already wasted way too much time talking to you carnies. I'll have you know, we've wrestled at several carnivals and their employees are some of the finest people around. Other than that Tilt-A-Whirl operator who bit me when I asked him what time it was. There's always exceptions. Cool story. Looking forward to seeing you tap again tonight, Red. You know, just like old times. Whoa, 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 whoa. You could kill someone with that. I know, that's the point. Don't let her get under your skin and ruin our night. We'll do our thing, and then she can do her stupid gym dedication. It'll be totally separate. I'm sure we won't even notice her. For you. I'm currently in negotiations with Cole Quinn to sign a long-term exclusive deal with BCW. In fact, I bet he'll sign on the dotted line right after this match. BCW is on its way back. I may have had to sell my parents' cemetery plots to help fund the relaunch, but I know this is going to work this time. You have my word, Mom and Dad. Special shout out to all of Red and Trey's friends and family in attendance tonight. And sorry about not being able to let you in for free, but hey, I'm 
running a business here. show tonight without a down payment <laughs> I promise I'm good for it make sure you hit up the merch stand at intermission we're all selling actual pieces of the mask I wore last year when I attacked Buzz. Don't miss out on your chance to own a piece of wrestling history. again on your big homecoming show, Red and Trey. I'm sure nothing will ruin your big night. Just a reminder to stick around after the show for a special ceremony where the gym will be renamed for up-and-coming MMA star, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun. I wonder if she'd be interested in signing with BCW. These two might need to settle their differences in the most intimidating and unique structure in wrestling, the Scrap Trap. Sure, it's been banned by every state athletic commission, but not in international waters. Join your friend Buzz in WWE. Why be the small fish in a big pond when you can be the shark in a kiddie pool? Okay, maybe that's not the best metaphor, since I don't think a shark would survive very long in a kiddie pool. But you get my point. You know, a lot of people doubted Paul Heyman when he was trying to take ECW National, but he did it, and I can do the same with BCW. I mean, yeah, eventually everything fell apart and they went out of business, but you get my point. It's me, the American hero, Brooklyn Von Braun, taking over on commentary for this match. Commence the flopping of uncoordinated bodies.
Everyone closes their eyes and just listens to the sweet sound of my voice. I promise the misery will soon be over. You could say I know how head red like the back of my hand. As in red's had the back of my hand upside her head a whole bunch of times. Make sure you stick around for the gym renaming ceremony later tonight. It will help cleanse your palate of whatever this is. What's her opponent's name? Josie? Josie! 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 in this gym since Trey's match. <laughs> This reminds me of our high school dances. A gym full of people all staring at Red saying, what are those moves? Hey, if you want to keep running your mouth, then come over here and do it to my face. Excuse me for trying to entertain these people, because you certainly weren't. Red acts so tough, but the moment you get her in a submission hold, she gives up immediately. In fact, she's been tapped more than shoulders. <laughs> Yes, it's finally over. And best of all, Red lost just like I knew she would. Now we can move on to the real reason everyone's here. The renaming of the gym in my honor. Being in this gym brings back so many memories. I won my first amateur match here. I broke barriers and records here as the captain of the otherwise all-male wrestling team. I qualified for states here. I dominated gym class dodgeball here. I won prom and homecoming queen here. I once saved Mr. Durkis from choking on a hot dog here. The banner actually isn't that bad. I was expecting something more obnoxious. I know, me too. So that's why it's my pleasure to officially christen this the Brooklyn Von Braun Gymnasium for Athletic Excellence. Isn't it amazing? I want to thank the school board for cutting the music program to help fund this. Totally worth it. I'm confused. Did she go to space before or after she was Pope? I think I'm going to throw up. Aim towards the mural if you can. <laughs> I can't believe we got totally upstaged and embarrassed by Brooklyn. 
Not much has changed. I know! We've come a long way, but it still feels like we're the same losers who used to sit at this table back in high school. At least my parents didn't show up and make a scene. Hey, I was thinking, maybe I should try to track down my real parents. They sent that letter back in high school, so maybe there's still hope with them. I, I've actually been meaning to talk to you about that letter. What about it? Sorry. Um, anyway. Uh, it's an Orlando number. Take it. Hello? Hi, Sarah. Yeah, it's a good time to talk. It's Sarah Motto from NXT. Oh. I got your number from Xbox. He saw you on a show in LA a couple years ago and said you were great. Oh, yeah, that was the same night he put my friend in a diaper. What? Never mind, had to be there. Anyways, the reason I'm calling is to see if you'd like to compete in the third annual May Young Classic. What? Come on, come on. Don't, don't. Hello, are you there? Hello? Um, I'm here, and I'm in for the May Young Classic. Yeah. Great, we'll be in touch soon with travel arrangements, and congratulations. Being included in this tournament is a huge accomplishment. Thank you. We'll talk soon. Bye. Bye. Oh, <laughs> are you serious? Maybe this night wasn't so bad after I all. I know. After I missed out on the first May Young Classic and then didn't hear anything last year, I thought I'd never get another shot. But it's happening, <laughs> and I'm not going to settle for just being included. I'm going to win the whole damn thing. Oh, I know you will. <laughs> we should celebrate. By throwing rocks at Brooklyn's stupid face. That might be a bit extreme. I mean, what size rocks are we talking? I meant her face on the sign coming into town. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that seems slightly more reasonable. Hey, hey, what did you want to tell me about the letter? Oh. Um. Never mind. It's not important. Besides, there's a sign that needs vandalizing, remember? True. I'll go round up some good throwing rocks. That's a great idea. I'll meet you at the car in a minute. Cool. Whoa, that's a shock. He's always wanted to meet his birth parents, and now that we know what happened, what are we going to say when he asks about them? I, I really don't think he can handle the, the truth that they're dead. Do you? No. No, it would crush him. But what's the alternative, honey? Just let him believe they're still out there somewhere and they don't care enough to ever contact him? I, I, I don't know. I, I wish there was a way to keep his hope alive, but not hurt him. <sighs> Me too. You've probably asked yourself a million times why. Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is we did. But we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. And that life is one where you can have the freedom to follow your dreams, no matter what they might be. To become anything you want. We'll find you someday. Love always, Mom and Dad. Please, don't tell him our secret about the letter. It's not going to help anything. Hey, you coming or what? Yeah, sorry. Let's do this. Ugh. Take that. Ugh. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Take that, Brooklyn. Boom. Baron Blade here. Just wanted to let you know my BCW contract offer still stands. <laughs> I mean, Ugh. we might have to come down a bit on your pay, considering you oh, lost tonight. I really but don't worry, with that I'll one still <laughs> take care of you and your friend. Oh, and I hope you don't mind, but I gave your number to that Brooklyn Von take Braun. That. Nice girl. Anyway, Ugh. call me back nice. when you're yeah. ready to make the best decision of your life. Take that, Brooklyn. Boom. Oh, I really rocked her with that one. <laughs> Take that. Oh, nice. Yeah. Hey, got
got your number from some creepy old guy at the event. I think he said his name was Baron Blaze. Brooklyn. Boom. Doesn't matter. I just wanted to say it was so great reconnecting with you two tonight. I thought we'd have a chance to catch up some more after my speech, but I couldn't find you anywhere. Maybe you were at the school counselor's office really getting some therapy after one. your loss. <laughs> and by the way, did I distract you? My bad. Anyway, I'd invite Take you to that. come to, you know, one of my fights, but I really don't nice. think you can yeah. afford it. I mean, <laughs> I'd give you free tickets, but A, I don't like you. And B, Take you'd probably Brooklyn. just sell them Ooh. for a lifetime supply of cheese puffs or whatever poor people food you're surviving on these days. Well, I'm off to train <laughs> in Vegas for my next fight. We'll be in touch, hothead. Oh. I really rocked her with that one. <laughs> Take that! Ugh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the inaugural episode Take of The Buzz person. and Cole Show. I am one of your hosts, WWE superstar Buzz, and I believe we have my co-host on the line <laughs> now. Cole, are you there? Did we figure out our technical oh, difficulties? I really yeah, rock I'm here. That I, that's still a working <laughs> title for the show, right? Because I feel like we can do a lot better. Did you get my email with the list of names I came up with? Uh, Take that. Yeah, I did. I figured we'd discuss them Ugh. off the air. Nice. So. Yeah. And uh, let's hash it out now. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Hashing it out. Could maybe even get some kind Take of that, hash Brooklyn. Brown sponsorship. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that one. What else you got? Bro Ugh. by bro. Get it? Oh, it's like the expression really blow by blow, which one. is like a detailed account <laughs> of an event, but I replace blow with bro because we're bros. Uh, like Take I that. said, happy to discuss this off the oh. air. Oh, nice. Come on, yeah. on a roll. Are we? <laughs> okay, okay. How about the sod cast? Take that, mm, Brooklyn. I don't get it. It's another opportunity for sponsorship from the sod industry. <laughs> I kind of figured we'd cover our careers and wrestling in general so with a name really like that wouldn't we that have one. to talk about sod yeah sometimes but we'd work it in organically Ugh. Take that. <laughs> like how sod is made of organic matter uh-huh nice. yeah you know what let's worry about this later okay where are you right now anyway uh, just getting to an indie show and a Take strip that, mall Brooklyn. we couldn't run here a few months ago because it was being used as a halloween store and not all of us can be living the glamorous WWE Ugh. lifestyle, you know? Hey, it's not always glamorous, oh, okay? On my last I flight, really I sat next to Rowan, one. and he <laughs> insisted on clipping his toenails. I'm pretty sure one flew into my hummus, and Ugh. I ate Take it. that! So they just left all this cool stuff here? Ugh. There's gonna be like nice. 200 yeah. cents of fake vampire dude. Um. <laughs> oh, it's those hilarious arms you can stick out the car truck! Uh, oh, Cole. Cole? Cole? Are, are you there? Boom. Oh, yeah, sorry. This ton of stuff left over from when it was a Halloween store. Hey, can I pick this up later? And we'll just edit in like a hash brown or sod commercial here and there's no difference. Yeah. Oh. See ya. I really rocked they it said with that do a one. podcast. <laughs> It'll be fun. You'll love it. Ugh. We'll be back at some point. Take that. Ugh. Nice. Yeah. Hey, bro. Uh, good Take matchup that, there tonight. Boom. Just wanted to let you know that I think you and your friend made the right call not signing with Baron. In the long <laughs> run, it's going to save you a lot of headaches and money. Oh, oh speaking of I really saving money, that one. I just <laughs> happen to be selling two slightly used jet skis for a price that will knock your socks <laughs> off. Take that. Which is perfect because you wear socks when they're on a jet ski. <laughs> nice. Anyway, let yeah. me know if you're in, and I'll even deliver them to you. <laughs> no extra cost. On a trailer. Take that, Not like Brooklyn. I'd show up driving Boom. them on the water. I mean, unless you live near a dock, then maybe I could do that. <laughs> that you know Ugh. what? We'll figure that out later. Oh, one more oh. thing. I just started I really the podcast with, with Buzz. <laughs> uh, you know, my super successful WWE superstar best friend. Ugh. Anyway, you can Take that. check out the pod Ugh. while you're working nice. out yeah. your bod. <laughs> That's a catchphrase for the show that we've been workshopping. Honestly, I Take think that, we nailed Brooklyn. it. Boom. Let me know about the personal watercrafts. Later. <laughs> oh, I really rocked her with that one. <laughs> well, we never heard back from you about coming to your show, so 
I think we got the message loud and clear oh, nice. that you don't yeah. want us around. Or at, at least I did. <laughs> I had to practically restrain your mother from going down to the Take high school. That, Brooklyn. I, anyway, if space was what you wanted, well, you, you got it. We won't <laughs> bother you anymore. But the door will always be open if, if you want to work things out. I really rock and uh, I hope one. that happens. <laughs> so, bye for now and good luck. Take that! Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs>